Hello guys, welcome to Romta Solutions. We are continuing with our lesson on vertical projectile motion. Today on exercise 5, we're looking at a case where a hot air balloon is descending with a constant velocity of 3 meters per second. When somebody inside the balloon throws an apple downwards with a velocity of 5 meters per second. And then the apple strikes the ground after 2,5 seconds. So this information says velocity of the apple relative to or oh sorry it started with velocity of the balloon relative to air is 3 meters per second downwards again somebody inside the balloon threw the apple downwards with the velocity of five meters per second so i will say velocity of the apple relative to the balloon is five meters per second downwards all right and then they said the apple strikes the ground after 2.5 seconds so delta t is 2.5 seconds the first question says the initial velocity of the apple we must calculate the initial velocity of the apple so we will say initial velocity equals velocity of the apple relative to the balloon plus velocity of the balloon relative to uh oh i see um you know what i want to change the subscript here um let me change a, I'm going to call it A, and then the apple, I'm going to call it fruit. So it's going to be F. So let me say velocity of the balloon relative to A, it's fine. Velocity of the fruit relative to the balloon. Let me not confuse this, uh, these terms. Okay. So velocity of the fruit, velocity of the fruit relative to the balloon. So here I will choose downwards as positive. I'm sorry. I will choose downwards as positive. Okay, I will choose downwards as positive. So let's see. If we think downwards is positive, the fruit relative to the balloon was five meters per second. So since it's downwards, I'll write it as positive. The balloon was also descending, so that's a downwards motion. It was 3. Therefore, the initial velocity of the apple was 8 meters per second, where? Downwards. Right? It was 8 meters per second, downwards. Number B, it says, um, we must calculate the velocity with which the apple strikes the ground. So this means we are looking for final velocity. We know delta time, <laughs> delta t was 2,5 seconds. We also know we also know the initial velocity. So first thing first, I will assume here downwards as positive. Remember, guys, even if you say upwards as positive, your answers will always be the same. Okay, you just need to be careful in how you do your calculations. So I will use the formula VF equals VI plus A delta T. Right? What is our initial velocity? It was 8 meters per second downwards. It's positive. What is our acceleration? It's a downwards motion. This time around, it will be a positive 9,8. And what is our time? It took 2,5 seconds to reach the ground. Let's see. 8 plus 9,8 times 2,5. We have 32,5 meters, right? So, per second, sorry. Meters per second downwards. right downwards because we had assumed that positive is i mean downwards is positive 
right okay now let us look at question C so question C how far above the ground was the apple when the oh okay how far above the ground I think this should be saying how far above the ground was the balloon when the apple was released okay when the apple was released so it's a mistake here when the apple was released okay when the apple was released so we will say we will say let's see what we say so we will say um we are looking for delta y right we are looking for delta y in this question we have initial velocity we just calculated final velocity we also have the time so we have many equations that we can use so again before i make my calculations i will say i will choose downwards motion as positive right i will choose downwards motion as positive so we're looking for delta y so we'll say delta y equals vi delta t plus half a delta t squared now what is initial velocity it is 8 meters per second what is the time it's 2,5 half times what is acceleration it's positive this time 9,8 and the time is still 2,5 all squared now let's calculate how far how high above the ground the, the balloon was when the apple was released so this is a mistake here so 8 times 2,5 plus 4,9 times 2,5 squared so our answer is 50,63 meters so the balloon was 50,63 meters above the ground when the apple was released okay guys now in the next exercise we will be looking at your graphs okay we will be looking at your graphs so see you next time okay and have fun so bye bye